Hey YouTube, this is Robin That's One here, and today I am here to do for you the Wolverine movie. Um, it is the sixth installment of the X Men franchise, and is the sequel to X Men Three and X Men Origins Wolverine. So let's get started. <clears throat> And we discover that Wolverine is... We discover that Wolverine saved a man called Yoshida during the day of Hi Hiroshima. And we see... Um, this is the Wolverine with the bone claws and he's fighting in the war. I'm not really sure why Wolverine was at Hir Hiroshima. Um, I was always under the, the impression that Hiroshima paralleled with the events of D-Day. And if that's so, then um, Wolverine was at D-Day when the Americans and British Allied forces went to the shores of, yeah, well, you know D-Day. So, I'm not, I wasn't sure why Wolverine was there. I went with it. So, in the present, which is after X-Men 3, Wolverine is brought to Japan by Yukio to say goodbye and to y Yoshida, who is now a very, very successful businessman. He has developed a number of different technology and and is very, very successful in Japan. And Wolverine is also offered um, mortality by Yoshida, who basically is able to take away Wolverine's healing factor and and he will take it from him. I thought that was really, really interesting because um, in the comics it's been known that Wolverine's healing factor has been given to people. Um, the key factor, um, the key character being Deadpool. So I liked that aspect. Also, Wolverine protects Mariko, Yoshida's granddaughter. Um, despite the fact that Viper has actually taken Wolverine's healing factor from him. And basically, the, the two go on this... It, the story basically continues from there, that Wolverine protects Mariko even as his, even as he's being beaten down by a group called the Black Hand. We see Wolverine in a very, very vulnerable position where, again, his healing factor has been taken away. And we see him just being hit, sliced, um, bullets piercing into him and he's just being very very worn down by what's happening to him because he's not used to the fact that he can get hurt and that was really interesting because this is probably the weakest Wolverine has ever been 
apart from in X-Men 1 and 2. So seeing Wolverine this vulnerable was really, really interesting. We also see Wolverine's adamantium getting taken away from him at the very end of the series, which was really, really quite interesting because it sort of is the reverse of the X-Men, of X-Men Origins Wolverine, because in that film, Wolverine was given the adamantium claws, he was trying to get revenge on Stryker killing Kayla, and he had a driving force in that film. In this film, however, he doesn't have a driving force, and as the movie develops, Wolverine gets that driving force. He gets the... He gets his reason to continue living. Because, because in this film it says that Wolverine is a soldier. And we saw in X-Men Origins, you know, that very fact. And at the very end, Wolverine has his drive and... But he loses his adamantium as a result. Um, and also Wolverine is being haunted by the death of Jean Grey, who is pushing him to end his life. And there were just some really, really great scenes in this um, movie. The, the villains were all really, really good. Um, a bit underdeveloped. Um, like, I would have liked to have known Viper a bit more, and, and also the Silver Samurai I would have liked to have got to know. And stay for the after credits, because, um, the, the after credits sold me for Days of Future Past. It was just, it was a really, really good little teaser for, for the days of future past. So do stay for the after credits. Um, other than that, yeah, that's this review over and done with. It It's a really good film and go see it. Bye.